YouTube, Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. If you're new to this channel, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Go down below. Make sure you subscribe before you exit this channel. Um, I know you want a free pick, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet, get you guys a free pick, and send you on your way to have a good Sunday. Um, uh, when there's a draw, you're going to get it all. If you go to DefeatTheBook.com, obviously that is where you purchase picks. You can scroll down to the homepage and you can see entire pick history. We had a very solid week. We did have a rough day yesterday. Um, it's the only win for us yesterday was the Reds. We had the Reds on the money line at plus 154 dog. It was nice to catch there. But I had them uh, team total over three and a half runs. Uh, and it gets to three. They had a three run, three run shot early in the game and didn't get any any luck there in the second half. Had a lot of opportunities and that, that didn't cash for us. Um, and then we came back um, with the free pick that I gave you guys with Cole and Kluber. And both those guys just pitched lights out gems yesterday. There was not much offense at all. So we ended up one and two on the day with only our money line dog being our winner yesterday. Looking to have a nice bounce back day here today as we've had a very successful week and want to close it out correctly right um so yeah as i said before $19.99 gets you a full day also you can get bryce's nascar you guys know bryce absolutely crushes nascar i think he's had six of the last 13 race winners something like that um and he has the coca-cola 600 today i believe that starts at three or so somewhere around there so make sure you check out what he has going on with his nascar as nascar is up and ready on the site um, so make sure you head there and check out what he has in NASCAR today. But um, we're going to take a look at Game 7 here for the official free pick. Miami Heat, Boston Celtics, the line is moving pretty quickly. It's now up to three, I've seen, favoring the Boston Celtics here. Now, um, <laughs> this this is tough. I expected this to be a seven-game series. I said that Kyle Larry would be... Um, an important key in this series. And I think he has played a great role in this series defensively with the championship moxie. And I honestly think that's a difference in the game. I think we're going to get our first or not first, but our game, a game that's going to come down to the very end in this one. I'm going to take the three points with the Miami heat. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why, right? So we're talking about this Boston team and we love this Boston team. And I, I really like them as well. Um, but they've yet to really get over the hump. Is this the year to do it? Possibly, but I'm not super convinced. I don't think that the, uh, a lot of the narrative here with everyone seeing Boston and Golden State in the finals, um, I liked it as well. But it's hard to give a team that does have championship moxie added motivation. They may have been dead in the water, I think, if there was no, you know, no murmuring, no talking, no discussion. So it seemed to be a fire that was was on its way to being out, got reignited, and you motivated a team that has championship moxie. Kyle Larry's got a ring. Jimmy Butler, we've seen play some tremendous games here. And, and they, this is a team that's went to the NBA Finals just a couple years ago in the bubble, right? And the quick turnaround, I think, made people think that they were a flake. It was bubble ball. It wasn't real. Um, and I think that this is an added motivation for this Miami Heat team. They know that they're good enough to go back. And they know that it's, it wasn't just bubble basketball. And the quick turnaround with the teams that made the finals last year and then coming back and starting the season, it was just rough for everyone. The late You've seen the Lakers look poorly and Miami Heat also looked poorly. It's just a turnaround, which is not enough rest for these guys to come back and play good basketball um, off such little rest. They're used to, used to having the entire summer to get their legs right, get their body right. It was just too much basketball too soon. So now coming back, can it be two out of three going to the NBA Finals for the Miami Heat? They add P.J. Tucker, who had championship moxie that last year, remember, was with the Bucks, um, who knows what it takes to get over the home. They have Jimmy Butler. We've seen some. We've seen him play in the bubble. As I said, we've seen him have a huge game seven um, there playing against the Raptors, which I believe if it doesn't have the quadruple bounce against the Raptors, the Sixers, that would have been their year to win a title. Um, and instead, the Bucks won. Um, but I just think this team just has moxie and grit. I think this is a knockout, drag out fight that's going to go to the very, very end. And I'm going to take the points with the home dog. Remember, Miami had the best home record in the East this year at 29 and 12. Are they going to lose all? Th they're going to lose three out of their four home games or three straight home games at home. It's just, I mean, it, it's possible. It's Boston. This Boston team is very capable. I just think I'm going to be safe. I'm going to take the points here. Give me Miami Heat. Plus the three. I know it's not popular. I know everyone's on the Celtics, but I like the heat in this situation at home, back against the wall for the third straight time. Are they going to lose three at home? I'm not quite sure. Heat plus three is my official free pick of the day. I'm looking at three total picks overall, two in the MLB and one in the NBA. $19.99. Hop on board and let's have a successful day and finish a successful week. 
Make sure you check out Bryce's NASCAR as well. TikTok and Twitter is mainly where he operates. It's down below, guys. Make sure you guys have a blessed Sunday. It's Derek. Da-da-da-da-dimes. Defeatthebook.com. Best of luck whether you decide to tail or fade.